So what kind, what kind of uh, discussions have you been having with the big people here? You're, you're from the, uh, I forget the name. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's based on uh, Ted Grant's movement in Britain, uh, right? Originally, but we are uh, the international organization split in the 90s. And uh, today, I mean, the most known figure is Peter Dapp. So, uh, but he's uh, in the international secretary. Uh, that's, you know, he writes a lot. But Ted Grant uh, followers, or whatever you want to call it, is another organization. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's, it's really so it's uh, not Ted Grant, it's... I mean, we use it. Look, uh, we have Dave Grant here. Yeah. This is an old pamphlet while we were still in the same organization. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, we, we agree with Ted Grant's ideas. Uh, you know, many of the ideas, not everything, we disagree on the... What was the basis of the disagreement? Uh, the question of uh, either to remain inside the Labour Party in Britain or not, which also was uh, about the question of entries. Do, do we want to... Is the Labour Party still a uh, working class party with the bourgeois leadership or is it a completely capitalist party? Was that? We said it's a completely capitalist well, party. Well, I mean, why would you have to split over something like that? Why couldn't, why couldn't those of you who wanted to stay in the Labour Party stay in the Labour Party and those that didn't? Because we didn't want to stay inside the Labour We thought that uh, staying in, being inside the capitalist party we, as a social organization, we can't do that. We're gonna, it's actually going to hurt us. We're going to be inside the Capitalist Party. Okay. We're do, that. I want, do, like you, do, you think, the, do you think the Labour Party was always a Capitalist Party, or did it become I so mean, that's at some point? It was founded by Marxists originally, but uh, for a very long time it was uh, it was based on working class. You know, the unions, working class as a whole, but uh, we're very active. We were very active inside. Yeah, okay. uh, the leadership was disconnected. Uh, it was uh, union leadership, or it was bourgeois uh, leadership. But then, uh, you know, with all uh, Tony Blair, the New Labour, all this stuff during the nineties, it became. A so it was with uh, the ascendancy of New Labour that the Labour Party stopped having any connection to the uh, working class. A little before that. But, a little before uh, that. There were discussions for a while. Uh, the majority of the organization wanted to get out. Well, it's kind of ironic because wasn't. Uh, the Ted Grant tendency, didn't they emerge originally as opposed to entry in the Labour Party when the uh, Fourth International told them they needed to go into the Labour Party? This was in the, in the late 1940s. Not yes, the that's honest. what happened. Yeah. So I guess they switched their position. I mean, it's been so, uh, 50 years after that. Uh, you know, uh, maybe. Well, 50 years is a while, this is true. The party, you know, the party completely changed by then. Uh, All right, well, you know, I, my position is different than you. We're probably not going to convince each other, but I'm just curious. What kind of response have you gotten from the people in the area here? Well, I mean, you know, if you go around, you talk with people, you have all kinds of different opinions here. You, yeah. have, you have far right, even, you know, libertarians. You have uh, reformists, you have anarchists, you have socialists, you have just ordinary working people that are not sure. Uh, well, so that's the, it's the last category that I'm most interested in. Right, so, I mean, uh, with talking with other working people, we got, I would say, mostly support, uh, big support for what we say. Uh -huh. uh, and we're very open about being socialist and we still get do you, do you have any uh, specific demands that you think that the Occupy movement should be placing in front of the working class? Yeah, I mean, there, there's... There are different demands. There are demands of how we can should, how we should take it forward. There are general demands, like uh, you know, the demand for public housing, public education. Public you probably education. haven't been interviewed by a Marxist before, have you? Uh, yeah. If I had, uh, I don't know. I don't remember. <laughs> but you know, there are those demands. Of course, there are you know further demands. We say that uh, in order to change capitalism, it's not just uh, you know we don't think we can change capitalism. Yeah, we think we can. We need to take it down. <laughs> yeah, well, how would you do that? How we, we know that you have to, to you have to bring, you have to put that forward in a in a popular manner that working people can understand. Uh, how would you do that? One, one second. But last last time they told us. Uh, okay, we, we're getting some police action here. They have to. They are supposed last time to be. Last they told us the other thing. They told us not to be there to move here. You see? They want you to move there. Yeah, but then they said uh, move here. Okay. So just there, just there is okay. Right here. There's no room over there. Well, that's not my problem. <laughs> you see, if you're socially, they're trying to. Okay, this is the, the normal type of harassment that uh, political people get from the New York City police. You see that? We got a move, right? Yeah, I have to follow the How come the food cart's there? 
Yeah. They have a money. They paid money. But this, isn't this a public street? Why should you have to pay money to be on a public street? Because you're obstructing traffic. Looks like it looks to me like people are able to walk by. It's made for people to walk. Well, I don't, I don't, I don't see anybody being uh, prevented from walking. I'm not connected with this. I'm just asking you.